Welcome back to the channel, folks. We uh been out doing a little bit of picking up trail cameras and stuff today, and which obviously that's why I look like I'm sweating and it's hot. So I've done put on a couple miles, and I was leaving out of here, and I got to remembering. Uh, I can't remember the guy's name, but he commented on one of the videos and asked about my cart, my deer cart that I use. Uh, I got it pulled up on eBay, which is exactly where I bought this one from. Uh, if you go on eBay and just type in game cart and pull up the different ones, but this is the one that I'm using. Back when I bought it, it was only $59.99. It's $69.95 now. Uh, they claim it can hold 500 pounds. There were some pros and cons when I first bought it. I mean, there, when I first got it, you know, and I had to just just know when you, you get it, you're going to have to do some modifications to it to make it where it's actually worth having. But for the price, you know, it's not, it's not a bad deal. Then I'm going to set it up real quick. And I'll talk about what I had to do to it and why I had to do it. Right, it's not set up completely, but you got these little keys right here on the top. You know, and then you open your handle up, and it helps lock your handle in place. That was the first thing that I discovered I needed to do to it, which was the way they tell you in the instructions to put the handle on. Which you can see how mine points up. And the reason is, is the way they have it you end up having to hold your hands down and bend over to keep the cart level. You know, and I didn't like it, so I just flipped it around, flipped it upside down. That way while I'm walking or pulling it, you know, and I don't have to bend over to try to hold it to make it level. Um, when I first got it, I went hunting. I went on a check-in hunt to where the state gives us two free tags on top of the ones that you buy when you go get your license i went to that hunt and ended up shooting a nice little seven point and a doe uh well that's the first time i used this it did hold both deer but when you get it which you can see on the picture it don't come with any of these straps or nothing like that you know and all these it's open in between these bars well, that first hunt, after I went back out there to get these deer, I put both of them on it, and within 200 yards, I ended up throwing one of them off to the side and carrying one back at a time, simply because, you know, and I did bring some ratchet straps with me to try to, because I, I kind of figured they was going to fall through the holes and the gaps in this thing. But I took, and I strapped them on there, and just the bumps and stuff like that was causing, like, the, the doe kept falling through. She was a little bit smaller, but she kept falling through the holes, like her leg or her head or whatnot. And it was just getting irritating, so I just, I ended up just doing one at a time. But, when I first loaded both her mom and had them both strapped down pretty good, within that first 200 yards, it pulled really good. And then I've, I've had a few few hogs on here which i linked some videos in the cards above that way you can see it in action um but i went and got this right here is nothing more than some seat belt strap 
all this stuff you see here and I just weaved it on there and what you can see on the bottom here I took some screws on the end pieces I screwed them on to the into the bar there self tapping screws and screwed it in so that was one of the first things that I realized that I needed to do to it after I realized this that's when I started working on figuring out what I need to do about this handle. Got it flipped around and it works out perfect like that. Now here's the biggest thing that I recommend. I could deal with the deer falling through here. I could have dealt with the handle. But by the time I made it back up to my truck with the first deer. On these wheels. I'll try to pick it up and hold it up. You can see right here, on the inside, down here, and on the outside, they come with the cheapest and crappiest little pins that you could possibly put in it. You know, and it, it they were similar to these, but they weren't nowhere as near as heavy a duty as these pins up here. Um, uh, before I made it back up to the truck, I lost one wheel. Luckily, at that time, I had stuff in the truck to jerry-rig it up. I got the wheel back on there, went out there and got the second deer. And before I made it back up to the truck with the second deer, the other one done come off. So what I done was I just, when I got back home and got everything cleaned up, before I went back out to the woods, I just took some nails shoved through these little holes where the pins go and I bent the nails around so the nails couldn't come out. I did it on all four holes that way. They make them with the pins in them so you can completely collapse this thing down and store it away. Well, it, it, it's crap. Don't get me wrong, it's crap. I just, you, you seen how I hold it felt, I, I fold it up and I shove it in front of my truck right here. It's still small enough. I can stick it in the back seat of my truck. If I'm out in the woods, if you don't want nobody stealing it, most times you ain't got no issues with anybody messing with your truck while you hunting. But that's the three things I recommend doing if you was to order this cart, which online, there ain't even a name on I don't even know. It's just some company that's selling them. It ain't got a name on on it nowhere. So even when you buy them, it don't. It's it don't, it don't come with no name on the paperwork, no nothing. So I don't know what brand it is. I just know I bought it off of eBay. It was the cheapest thing they had on eBay, and I was like, well, I'm just gonna get the cheapest thing I can, and maybe it'll get me by for a little bit until I can get one of the better ones. But the first thing you need to do, flip this handle around. Second thing you need to do. It gets you some kind of strap and uh, this right here is seat belt, seat belt material. You can go to a junkyard and just buy a bunch of daggum, cut a bunch of seat belts out of cars and sew them together. You done it. This stuff works pretty good. And the biggest thing you need to do is make sure you change out, either go buy you some better keys, little pins to put in these wheels. Or do like I did, get you some nails and shove it and bend it around so it don't come back out. You know, and other than that, it's been good. You know, and it hauls, as long as you put it, your animals on it level, to where the cart can sit level and you ain't got to hold the body weight. Oh, it, it's a breeze. It goes through there. It goes over your logs pretty good and stuff like that. I mean, I'd recommend it for anybody that's... I mean, they got some crazy stuff out there nowadays. This is just, at the time I bought this, it was the cheapest one I could find online. And I got it off eBay. It works. I mean, you can't ask no more for it. So, I would recommend people, if you want it, buy it. You know. This is, uh, I say my fourth year. Yeah, I think it's my fourth year having this cart. And I said we, we've hauled plenty of 
deer and hogs out of the woods with it. I've hauled two deer at one time with it. And now that I got the strap on it, I know it'll hold two deer with no problem. You know, and you still have to strap the deer down on it to keep them from falling off. But, you know, for the average person, this thing right here will work wonders. You know, and then we, we even go walking on a piece of private land that we got. We walk up and down the roads at it during the, during the weeks to try to stay in shape. And I put my daughter on here, and we just drag her down the road with us. That way she can keep up with us. You know, and... That, that was another reason why I put the strap on it, so we can, you know, whenever I'm pulling it behind me, she can sit on it, do whatever she wants to, and I ain't got to worry about it falling through. You know what I'm saying? It holds her. Uh, the kids play around with it in the yard. You know, and when, I, like when I get home, I'll just stick it up underneath the, the front porch right there where I keep normally keep all my others other stuff like my ground blinds and stuff like that I slide it up underneath the porch keep it out of sight and out of mind pretty much but the kids they always, they always drag it out and play with it and we have to put it back up but it, it's been a good wagon it it's not falling apart so far I mean it's it's kind of loud and squeaky when you're setting it up but once you get going Especially when you got something on it, it's pretty quiet going through the woods. But we appreciate y'all watching. I hope y'all enjoyed the video. And uh, don't forget to like, subscribe to the channel. And we'll see you on the next video.